Welcome back to the channel, me and Car Keys. So today's video is about the most loved, most hated mod of every F-150 that you've ever seen, and that's the infamous Raptor Grill. Now, now a lot of people love the Raptor Grill, a lot of people hate the Raptor Grill for whatever reason, people love to hate the Raptor Grill. And you've heard all the sayings, I've heard them all too. You can't turn a regular F-150 into a Raptor. Um, if it's not a real Raptor, don't put a Raptor Grill on it. And last but not least, the infamous Raptor that people have coined these grills. Now, what we need to remember in the truck community is you respect the build, right? And it's as simple as that, right? You want people to respect your build, you respect that build. How does the saying go? My truck, my rules, your truck, your rules. And that's all that should be. A lot of people have actually even taken their grills off amid all the criticism and the persecution, if you will, <laughs> by having this grill on their truck. Don't do that, all right? <laughs> I love my Raptor grill. This is the first, actually it was the first mod I did when I got this truck, was put this Raptor grill on. All right, so as far as my grill goes, um, when I got it, it was supposed to be a matte black and it actually came in a gray. I don't know if you see that, it's like an anthracite gray. Um, and it doesn't really match. A lot of people don't really notice the difference, but it's actually supposed to be black. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna hit it with a gloss black. We're gonna make it a nice shiny gloss black. And the reason we're doing gloss black is because we have gloss black wheels and nothing else on the truck is gloss black. So <laughs> we wanna match it some kind of way. So we're gonna do this in gloss black and we're probably gonna end up doing this bumper. The middle section is a bumper in gloss black eventually, but today we're just gonna do the grill. All right, so we already cleaned it, we hit it twice and uh, we're just letting it dry and it's 98 degree Atlanta weather we got going on. Uh, we're letting it dry and then we're gonna hit it with some alcohol to clean it even more. Take the grill off is actually very easy. It only took me about five minutes actually. This is the top, top cover, it has a whole bunch of pins in it. Um, you have two bolts right here, one at the bottom on both sides. You're gonna have to take your trim piece uh, loose, just kind of pull it. Be careful because there's a bolt on the back side, so just pull it. Um, and then you have your grill, and you have your grill off right there. So it's in two pieces. You have the front cover here, and you have this back piece, which is just the shutters that open and close on their own. Um, you have a uh, two sensors here. One is actually for your shutters. Not sure what the other one's for, but anyway, disconnect those. Also, disconnect your battery. <laughs> disconnect the negative side. Um, and then to take these two apart, you have four bolts. Right, you have one down here, one whoop, right there, and you have two on that side as well. And of course, I forgot <laughs> the other thing connecting your grill to the shutters are these pins here. You have four of them going across the top. You have to release all those as well. Boom. That is literally our grill. That is it. There are three LEDs on the back there. And that is pretty much it. <laughs> now this is plastic. So be very careful with this. When I say plastic, I don't know if you can hear that. It's plastic. I am hitting it with the isopropyl alcohol. Clean it off. Uh, don't skip this step. Now I had to get in between all these little cracks and crevices and literally one by one stick the rag in. And I'm using a microfiber towel. Look at this, how dirty that is. So don't skip this step because there's dirt hidden all in these cracks all up under the letters. And so don't skip this step. All right, y'all check this out. Boom. This is the original grill from my truck, 2015 F-150, uh, all chrome. <laughs> now, uh, this has been on sale on Marketplace for about two years, uh, ever since I got the Raptor grill. And several people have tried to buy it. Uh, about 10 people have tried to buy it. And for whatever reason, they all just flake out on me. Um, we set a meeting place and they don't show up and I never hear from them again. So if you live in the Atlanta area, you need a Raptor grill, 2015, I mean, you need a <laughs> OEM grill, 2015, 2017, F-150s, let me know. All right, I got it set up here. I was ready to hit it with some adhesive promoter for step one. Then I realized there are certain areas of it that may need some sanding attention. I don't know if you can see these, but uh, you won't be able to see it. But there, all these scratches here. Um, this, this has been on the road for two years. So there are a lot of parts of it that may need to be sanded first um, before we get started, like there. Because I don't want to paint over it and then you can see all those areas through it. So we're going to hit it with some sanding. We got some thousand grit sandpaper, a little piece. We're gonna just run over real quick. Then we're gonna hit it again with some rubbing alcohol to clean it off. And then when it dries, we can get started. All right, we uh, sand it again, clean it again. Then we hit it with some alcohol. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but it's, most of the shine has been knocked off from the sanding. Um, now we're gonna hit it with some adhesive promoter and we're using automotive touch up. I have no connection in this company whatsoever, but I have used the products before. Uh, when I painted the bumpers and when I painted the emblem and good products, very spot on paint. So we're gonna use their uh, heat promoter. We have their black base paint and then we also have their gloss uh, click -off. Hey y'all, this is 
after two coats of adhesive promoter. Of course, it looks exactly the same because <laughs> the adhesive promoter is clear. Um, so we let it sit for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna test this black. Now this is, I don't remember the actual uh, code. I put it on the screen when I figured out it is a black Ford base coat. I'm gonna try it on this cardboard real quick and uh, see what it looks like. They're good black and it's strong. Ooh. And so of course I'm painting my garage and I just have my uh, toolbox up under here with a uh, paint cloth up under there. And then we got a fan here. We're gonna turn it back on. We're gonna lower the garage so that's even with the fans, kind of get the exhaust out. This stuff is strong. I sprayed it outside and it's strong. Now I'm using this uh, spray handle, spray gun handle. It makes it a lot easier instead of you having to use one finger to press the, uh, like for a spray can, you can use this and you can use, you know, several fingers. <laughs> makes it a little easier. Um, you can get these on Amazon. Um, I got mine for my mother touch up, which I'll put the link for it for Amazon as well. Safety first. Now I've had this on the whole time. I've had this on the whole time. <laughs> This is after three coats of black base. Um, it does have a slight shine to it, as you can see there, but it's more of a satin finish right now. So we're gonna hit it with the gloss and we're gonna give it at least three coats. So we'll see what it looks like after three coats and then we'll be done. done we got it done just in time because if you look over here it's definitely about the storm it just started thundering so <laughs> got it done just in time now i love the gloss black look it gives it a nice clean classy look um, i love gloss black on trim pieces on grills um, i think it looks very good and, that, and it's not even in the sunlight yet right it's cloudy so when we get to the sunlight it's gonna look even better now it makes this area down here look a little worse all right so at some point we're gonna have to repaint this uh bumper area down here and this will be repainted anyway if you look here it has a lot of little nicks and rock chips in there anyway so i say it's about time to get it done anyway so the black that i use is an oem ford color i don't remember what it was but i'll get it and i'll put it in the description below for you if you want it um but like i say it is an oem ford color so a lot of times when i paint plastics i always have issues for whatever reason um this time not so much so i'm actually pleased with how it came out um there were a couple issues um and a couple tips i can give if you're painting if you look Everything that's flat, everything that's facing you looks extremely good, right? Everything that's like flat this way on the top, not as good, right? Because I probably put more attention on the front than I did on the top surfaces. So if you're painting stuff like this, make sure you're hitting it at different angles so that you get everything, especially all these little intricate uh, pieces in here, these little honeycomb grills. Make sure you paint it at all different angles so you can get everything. Um, don't forget to use your adhesion promoter, right? Adhesion promoter is like primer pretty much for plastic. It's what's gonna make the paint stick and stay stuck, <laughs> right? Cause like I said, I've always had issues painting plastics because the paint will end up flaking off or whatever um, cause I wasn't using adhesion promoter. All right, so what do you think about the gloss black? Now, what I like about it, like I said earlier, the gloss black grill now matches the gloss black wheels and we needed something else gloss black because the wheels were the only thing that was gloss black on the truck. So I think it looks pretty good. What do you think? I right, thank you for watching the video on the Mid Car Keys channel. A lot of things coming real soon to the channel. Stay tuned, merch link coming real soon. I'll let you know, I'll keep you updated. Once again, Motivation Crew, as always, stay motivated. No matter what's going on, stay motivated. You can do it. I'll see you next time.